In this step, I'm gonna be preparing my um, cell lysate samples. So we're going to denature them in order to run them um, in the SDS page gel. So for that, I basically use the BioRad 4X Lamelli sample buffer. So the first thing that we need to do when we look at the protocol, so very important that you have the protocol for the 4X and not the 2X. So you need to make sure that you have the appropriate um, lamelli buffer. So for this, the first thing that I'm going to do is prepare it. So we're going to use um, 900 microliters of the 4X lamelli buffer. And to that, we're gonna add 100 microliters of beta macapta ethanol. So I already have my tube here and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare that. We have our 900. And to that, we're gonna go ahead and add the 100 microliters of beta macapha ethanol. So I already have my pipette ready. If you're sensitive to the smell of beta macapha ethanol, you can go ahead and do this in the chemistry um, hood. And that's it just invert it and then we have our lamelli ready to go that we're going to add to our samples so let's go over the calculations of how i go ahead and prepare my samples uh, my cell lysates in order to denature them so in this case i only have two samples um, i'm working with mice retina cell lysates on the first one it's a retina that i um, resuspended in 50 microliters of ripa buffer and in my other sample i used 100 microliters so i went ahead did my dilution factors i did my protein um, assay i got my concentrations my average and this is actually uh, microgram per microliter not nanogram so let me change that really quickly um, and then I have my average since this is the same sample I just did three different uh, dilution factors um, so I have my average and so right now what I'm going to do is that I want to for one of my samples I'm going to um, prepare 50 uh, micrograms so that's the total amount of protein I want in my sample and I want that sample to be in a total volume of 25 microliters meaning that when I load into the SDS page I am going to be loading 25 microliters so the first thing that I do here is um, you know I want equal if you're doing this in Excel 50 um, micrograms divided by your concentration so in this case my concentration is 2.9 that's the average and so it gives me a total volume of 17 microliters ahead in order to get the amount of volume of sample that i need to have a total um protein of 50 micrograms for sample so i do equal i put 50 divided by and then what my con my sample concentration is which is 2.99 and so that gives me 17 microliters once i know um the amount of cell lysate sample in this case um 
tissue lysed sample. Then I want to make sure that I have a total amount of 25 microliters that I'm going to be loading. So to do that, remember that we're using also their sample. There's Forex Lamelli and Ripa. For this one, um, you use one fourth of your sample. So what I do is once again, equal 25 uh, five divided by four. It gives me um, 6.5 microliters so 25 divided by 4 6.5 microliters one more time i'm going to now um explain my calculations for my second um, sample in which i'm going to prepare uh, 25 microliters that contain a total amount of 40 micrograms per protein so in order to do that we do equal 40 micrograms divided by our um, average concentration which is right here micrograms per microliter so that comes to 10 microliters of our lysate sample will have 40 micrograms so to this once again we want 25 microliters so what i like doing with excel um, and i'm doing i'm using the forex lamelli so to our sample one fourth should be four x lamelli. So I go ahead and type 25 microliters divided by four. And so one fourth of that is um, six. So let's put here six. And then in order to um, determine what our ripa buffer is going to be, we put equals 25 minus and so it will be the summation of our sample plus our forex lamelli. And so this should give us the total amount of RIPA buffer. So in order to verify that, you can go ahead, put equals to, if you're doing this in Excel, sum. And you're going to get this right here. So you add those three values. Okay. Okay, there we go. So after we've done our calculations, we're going to go ahead and prepare our um, cell lysates. So I know that I have here enough to do um, two runs or two loads of um, on, in my SDS page gel. So I have in 10 microliters of sample, I have 40, micrograms of protein so to that i'm going to add since i'm doing two reactions here 12.5 microliters of the lamelli So 12.5 and that's going to go in here and then to make sure that our total volume is 25 microliters per reaction now we're going to um, fill the rest with our repo buffer which is the same lysine buffer that you use to lyse your samples. For that, we're using 18 microliters. Okay, so here I'm going to prepare my second sample. And so I already did my calculations, which I showed you. And so all I have to do now is add my Forex Lamelli that has the beta mercator ethanol and the RIPA buffer to bring it to the um, desired volume of 25 microliters per sample per well.
So for lamelli, I'm going to add, for my case, 23 microliters. So mix it. Okay, I have my 23 microliters. Then go ahead and add it. Mix it. And now my rip up buffer. And for rip up buffer, I'm only using seven microliters. So I have my rip up. Mix it. Vortex quickly and after vortexing them, briefly spin them down. Now we can go ahead and denature our samples for five minutes. Okay, put your sample here, five minutes, and we have it at 90.